Three weeks since his father was almost shot dead and two weeks since Joe Biden dramatically dropped out. A new Scottish golf course was a break from the extraordinary election campaign for Eric Trump. The former president's third child and a key figure now in his father's quest back to the White House. Come and have a seat and we'll have a chat. Sat down with Sky News to defend, to predict and to reflect. The TVs were carrying alive. I had my kids in my lap and you know, my wife was in the room and, and that's when we heard the shots. So I'd grab his ear and you know, have all the guys dive on him. D did you think he was dead? You certainly think the worst, or at least presume sometimes the worst, right? I mean, here's what I can tell you. It's never good when you have blood coming out of the side of your ear, right? In life, that's not a good thing. The chances of a bullet just grazing an ear, um, you know, probably defy statistics. Did it change him? Um, I think that probably puts what's, you know, important in life in perspective. Um, at the same time, he pops off that stage, and what does he do? You know, fight, fight, fight. There's no denying that, that his reaction was extraordinary. But in, in the environment that America is in at the moment, do you, d does he accept that, that those words, fight, 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 will have different interpretations and potentially it could be very dangerous in a country where, like, I see the division all the time? That can't be a serious question. I mean... Why not? The guy just had a bullet put in his ear. You know, and you want to talk about, you know, healing division. Our country needs a fighter. And, and, and saying fight, fight, fight is, in, is, is simply, you know, biotic of, of a person who is seeing a nation that's in decline, who's seeing a Western world that frankly is in decline. So what about the man who might be vice president? J.D. Vance was the star choice at the convention two weeks ago, but since then Donald Trump's been forced to defend him, even dismiss his relevance. Buyer's remorse? No, I don't think so. Um, I, I think my father really likes J.D. I think he likes his positions. I think he likes the fact that he's, he's youthful, he can carry the torch. Is he the kind uh, that's going to attract women, though? I mean, that cat lady's comment. The country's being run by a bunch of childless cat ladies who are miserable at their own lives and choices that they've made, and so they want to make the rest of the country miserable, too. Pretty awkward comment for the vice presidential candidate to make, no? You don't think I could go through... Kamala Harris's comments. There is no doubt that the election has now taken on a different post-Biden vibe. But if it feels like the momentum is with the new opponent, well, it's phony, he says, just like her. The, the mainstream media in the United States has, has put her on this pedestal. It's a fake pedestal, right? No different than the pedestal that they put Joe Biden on. Do you accept, though, regardless of who you, who you blame for this, that the momentum right now is with the Democrats and with Kamala Harris? Well, it depends on how you define the momentum. Eric Trump, thank you very much. Are we were talking all about golf, or was this... Uh... We were talking about golf? Next time, maybe. Mark Stone, Sky News in Aberdeen.